Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in the Sun Turn Map Better tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Ground Upgrade tool. Now today I'm going to be using a map called Ground Upgrade and essentially this is what it looks like. All I've got is some basic terrain placed down and I've got some materials baked on automatically and I have a couple objects, roads, and materials and resources just placed down to test with. So you may be asking yourself, what is the ground upgrade tool? Well, the ground upgrade tool is a feature of the dev kit and it's actually very useful when trying to convert from normal editor ground into dev kit ground. Because if you guys are not aware, you cannot edit the ground with the dev kit if you started it with the normal editor and vice versa. If you start the ground in the dev kit, you can't edit it in the normal editor as well. So using the ground upgrade tool allows you to convert your normal ground into dev kit ground. And you may be wanting to do this for a couple reasons. First of all, um, a lot of the materials that you can get in the dev kit are different than the ones you can use in the normal editor. Also the dev kit height map tools are a little bit better and fine-tuned and there's a couple extra features that are included there as well that you cannot use in the normal editor. So whatever your reason I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade your ground today. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get the ground upgrade tool into your setup and this is what it looks like here. If you don't have it all you have to do is go to windows wizards and then ground upgrade wizard it's at the very top and before you can actually use this uh, uh, there's a couple things you have to do first. So first of all, you're going to actually have to add a landscape into your hierarchy. So essentially, you just go to the type browser core, then click on landscape, and in your hierarchy, you should see one appear. Now, it's very important that you only have one in your hierarchy because if you have multiple, it has been known to cause some lag issues potentially when working on the editor. So of course, you want to avoid that if possible. Also, once you do that, you're going to want to go to the landscape tool, go to tile, and you're going to want to add in tiles over the normal play area. Now by default, one is usually created and that's outlined in white here, but these other places you're going to want to create tiles. Next, all you're going to need to do is go to the ground upgrade tool and then press the upgrade button. Now this should take a second and essentially what this will do is create two things. First of all, it'll create the ground for you inside of the dev kit. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of ground overlapping here, and that is what was newly created. Next, it'll also create a foliage volume, and this will be based off of um, the details that were baked onto your landscape before. So it will actually save those changes, and if you do want to get rid of the foliage volume, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to the selection tool, click on the foliage volume, and you can just straight up delete it. Now you don't have to if you don't want to, but of course if you want to redo the details and add your own foliage volumes later, that would be a good thing to do. Now, as you guys notice, there is a bunch of overlapping ground here, and this is something that you might want to get rid of because texturally it will look odd in game. So of course, uh, save your changes in the dev kit and we're going to exit and go back to the normal editor. And the best way to get rid of all these extra texture glitches because of the overlapping ground is to take the normal ground. So just go to the train tool, go to heights, and then go to the flatten tool and then just move it down to like 0.1 and then just flatten the original ground down to 0.1. Now this will make it look like you pretty much have no materials and that's because whenever you use the ground upgrade tool it does remove the materials that are on the existing ground. So that's one downside to actually using the tool but the nice thing about it is placing materials on the dev kit is quite a lot nicer than placing them in the normal editor. So you will have to redo some work in terms of materials but you do get the bonus added features of doing that in the first place. And that's pretty much it in terms of the basics of uh, converting your ground. Essentially, once you've done all this, you can just go to the landscape tool and go to height map and you can pretty much edit this like you would normal dev kit ground. And also, if you go to splat map and you want to add your own materials, you can do that as well. And something that's interesting is, as you'll notice, um, it's sort of auto filling in these areas. This is because it saves the regions that you painted in before. And so previously, I think this was dirt. So essentially what I've just done is replaced all the dirt from the previous ma uh, splat map that was created in the normal editor and replaced it with uh, Russia farm. In the same way, you can do the same thing with uh, Russia grass and other materials and just sort of replace what was there before. So lastly, there are a few issues that have been known to happen and those start happening in the normal editor. So let's say we want to place our roads. And as you guys can see, we're obviously going to have an issue here. The roads are now underneath the ground and they're on the original landscape that we placed that we flattened. Now, if we rebake the roads, um, essentially they're just going to stay down there and that's obviously going to be an issue. So there is another fix that we have to do in order to fix this. So we have to go to the unturned map files and we have to add a config.json that we've been using in a lot of the videos recently. And there's a specific line that you have to add 
in order to get it working again. And the line is use underscore legacy underscore ground colon space false. And essentially what this does is it tells the editor to not use the legacy ground. This means that it will use the newer ground and the newer ground being the dev kit ground. Now, as you guys can see, once I've added this file, uh, the roads are now on top and it's essentially going to ignore the ground that was there below. And as you guys can see, it's actually completely gone. So once you add that line into your config.json file, it just completely gets rid of it. So as far as I know, that's the only issue that uh, was had before. Um, besides that, you can place resources, you can place objects and everything just like normal. And so that should be pretty much all you need to know on how to convert your land. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.